Hi, welcome to this review of a pizza oven. So people who regularly follow me on my uh, channel, don't worry, I haven't gone to the dark side. I'm still making ovens. But I know some of you have trouble, are not confident in making ovens or don't have the time, and uh, would like to just buy something. And uh, this is quite a nice little oven. Um, the other thing is, don't worry, I'm still going to be making my dragon pizza oven. This is the base for it, if you've been watching my other videos. But I thought while I had the base, I might as well use it to test out a few other uh, ovens. Now, the other thing I need to point out, I'm not getting any endorsements for doing this. I haven't had this given to me. I, I bought this out of my own money. Um, so, no endorsements. I'm just giving you an honest view of this, this oven. Um, and the reason I'm sharing it is because I think it's not a bad little oven. Now, I saw it at our local DIY store, which was up for £139. Um, and then I saw it go come down to £90 and I thought, oh, that's worth a punt. Now they market this oven to, for pizzas, for smoking and for barbecue. Now, I'm not sure about smoking or barbecue, but um, I'm going to just do it for pizza. So let's show you some of the key bits I like about it. First of all, you've got the tray at the bottom for your, um, your coals. Uh, I've got mine lined with a tin foil so I can easily throw it away and also reflect the heat up. Now if I drop this down, we have access to where we put our fire. So there's a lot of space under there so the air can really get underneath it and, and really make it flow. And also it has nice air ventilation so I let the air in. It also has a, a stop on the chimney. So with these two controls, I can easily, you know, uh, handle the flow to make the oven work its best. And then last but not least is my little area for doing the cooking. So that's there for barbecue at the moment. But for pizza, all we do is put a pizza stone on there. Uh, it has a temperature gauge there to show you. And that's it really, it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, you won't want to leave this outside. I said I only used it last week and already, you know, I can see rust in bits and pieces. So this wouldn't last very long outside. So you want to keep moving it in. As I said, it comes with wheels. It comes on like a trolley. I haven't got this up at the moment, but I think in the picture you can see the, the trolley, which is quite handy. So you can move it into the shed and also you can move it around the garden. So if I want to do smoking, I might want to move it to the back of the garden. So, Let's start a fire and let's get it going. As you can see, it lights very easily. Um, <laughs> yeah, very easily, actually, a lot of airflow. So I'm leaving this open to be in with and then I'll shut it. I've got it open at the top. Uh, and already I've been doing this literally about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, and it's gone up to uh, about 130, even creeping up all the time, 135 um, Celsius. Um, what that's all that's telling you is up at the top here is you know it, that's what the temperature is there um so we're gonna let this go a bit longer then we're gonna put the pizza plate on it's quite a simple thing all we're really doing is we're heating up the plate heating it around there um you know you could pimp this up if you want to you know we've got our fire bricks we can put fire bricks inside there to hold the heat in to make it more like a proper pizza oven uh, we can even put foil in there to around the top to direct the, the flames and the heat back down on top of the pizza. But look at this, you know, this is, <laughs> you can see how quick this lights. What a joy. It's a couple of minutes later now, so I'm gonna put the, the pizza stone in. So all I do is I literally put it on top. Try not to drop it or break it. So now, let me close this. And you can see the flames are now going underneath and going round the, the slab. And let me close this up. And if I look at the, the temperature gauge, that is now telling me it's coming up to 300 Celsius. And that's about 560 Fahrenheit. Amazing. So. We'll leave that another couple of minutes and I think then we'll be near enough ready to cook. Now I think we're ready to cook. It's been about 10, let's say 15 minutes max. So from lighting it to hopefully cooking. So let me check the temperature on the slab. That's 722 Fahrenheit 
or 383 Celsius. So I think that's hot enough to put our pizza on. And the temperature here is telling me just over 600 Celsius. Right, let me go and get a pizza. Here we go. I'm just going to put a simple um, pepperoni pizza, which is stuck in there. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, shut the lid. And it was, right, I'm going to time this. Check this after one minute. Ooh. It's time to bubble up. Let's look at it after two minutes. Oh, really bubbling up now, but actually that's interesting. I'm just looking at the um, mozzarella. The mozzarella's melted, but actually it's a little bit black, as if it's got some soot, which is interesting, because I did actually close or start limiting the vent at the top. So I reckon that was not good, so it's put a bit of um, soot on. Right, let's just check underneath. Oh wow, that looks good. You know what? Taking that out, that looks fantastic. So let me plate this up and let's have a look at it how it's plated up. Now here is our plated pizza. Which is looking alright. Mm. Very crispy. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Look at that. So the plate is obviously too hot. So I should have started cooking earlier. So let's put another one on. So we're sort of um, burnt over a bit at the bottom. Let's check the temperature again. Pull the temperature down. Let's put our next pizza in. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, this one. So I brought the temperature down, so I got the temperature now is about 200 Celsius and the plate was showing me it was 240 Celsius. Okay, you can see that, that plate looks alright, but the top is not cooking now. <clears throat> we let this one do its cool, so we give it another minute or two. And then for the third one, I'll get the heat back up and then spray the... the, the um, the stone a bit more and then I think that will give us our perfect pizza. Let's see how this one's doing. So I'll put some more logs in there to get the heat up again. Let me just check the base. The base is looking alright. Oh actually, this looks pretty good. Pretty juicy on top. Base is looking good. Right, I think this one's a good one. Let's get this one plated up. Now the last pizza now that was more like it, very good. So let's try this one. I've stoked it up, so we're now up to um, 325 Celsius. I've given the, the base a good spraying. So is this gonna be the, the mother of all pizzas? Okay, uh, let me just check the time. So I'm gonna give that a, a minute. Now the last one, was really nice, thin, thin crust, no burnt underneath. It just wasn't quite as good as a normal um, pizza oven from one of my ovens. So I think you know, I sprayed it a lot, so hopefully a bit more, maybe it needs some uh, humidity in there. So let's see how this one goes. That's the first minute up, let's have a look. Looking good, swelling up. Check the underneath, that's looking good. Close that. What do you reckon? 30 seconds or a minute? Right, two minutes. Let's get this, this puppy out. Let me just turn that up. You can see no burning. This way. Look at that. 
Let me stop that falling off my power. Oh, look at the juices coming off that. Now this looks like it could be the one. So here's our plated uh, pizza. You're probably saying, hold on, there's a bit missing there. Yeah, the, the boss had a piece. So this looks, oh, look, the underneath looks good. Put that artichoke bag on, just quickly test it like you need to. Huh. Did you hear that crisp? Oh, this is, this is a bee's knees. Right, okay. I'm going to go and eat this, and then we'll come back and just have a quick review of the piece of oven. Wow, this is good. Finally got there. That last piece was the one, that's fantastic. So I'm just going to put this one in and we'll have this for tomorrow on the picnic. So, on the whole, I think it's a nice little oven. I'd say it cost me uh, 90 pounds. Um, comes on wheels so I can put it away. And it's really quick to cook. You know, you saw how quick it was me lighting and how to do my first pizza. Um, yeah, no, I think it's a nice little oven. So, look, if you enjoyed watching these videos or you want to see how the old uh, Dragon Pizza oven comes along, then subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for viewing.